So our kitchen and our living room are separated by this sliding door. So let's go to the living room. And welcome. So once you enter, you're welcome to buy my boyfriend's workstation. This is his work area, as we call it. Although we rarely use this room, to be honest. But yeah, this is where he does most of his office stuff and drawing stuff here and then right next to it we have our action figures some of them because we still have some in our bedroom so most of these items are from game centers we got them from our from game centers and they just all look so nice you know when you're a kid and they say that you can get adults kept saying that you can get the things that you want when you're older and you know what that's true so hold on to your hobbies hold on to what you like to what you want because someday when you can afford it you can finally have those things that you want so we have these items here this is a traditional Japanese umbrella that we got from a warehouse in another prefecture, in another city. That's a crazy story, to be honest, and I, I really want to tell that story, but that'll be for another video. This old Japanese-style guitar slash music box is also from that same warehouse. Over here, I got Luna. It's from Sailor Moon and also my ukulele over here. I have a whiteboard here and then right next to our action figures is my work area it's my workspace so here we have Gojo-san he's a character from Jujutsu Kaisen it's a pillow that I got from a game center as well and right here is a postcard from a friend my boyfriend's friend that we met last winter holidays right next to it is my boyfriend's digital art which is dedicated for me he dedicated it for me because he said i'm ad addicted to sweets so yes yeah, she's clearly a representation of zelda and i have my cameras here my nikon camera and my checky or my polaroid camera right over here i have my humidifier so that whenever i have to work in winter i can use this and here is my computer so this is a brand that you probably don't know you're not from, probably familiar with it yet but yeah it is a nice a really good brand from japan and this one is a gaming computer i actually made an unboxing video of this i just haven't edited it yet so yeah it's a very powerful machine i call this a machine because it's just really powerful it's very fast and I have no complaints. It's a gaming computer to be more precise. My mouse over here and my office chair. And then right over here on the wall next to my workspace is the collection of some photographs of my family and friends. So I have here a picture of Nana and Tatai. This was taken when I went home two years ago, I believe. No, three years ago. It was three years ago. Yeah, we went we went to Tagaytay and this picture is just mm, so sweet. And I have here another picture of my family. I miss them so much. I wish I can go home soon. You know. And right here, some pictures of my friends. Me and my friends back when everything was still normal before the pandemic right over here i have some photographs of takikun so he is a character from kimi no nawa your name i love that movie and i think takikun is one of the best anime characters ever hands down so yeah this is my working area this is a 35 inch tv i am not sure but yeah it's big enough to watch movies or to play video games that's what it used to look like without anything in it it's very spacious it has all of our stuff all of our clothes and there's still space there's still space left more room for more clothes so i love it it's almost like a walk-in closet 
and then right over here we have a sofa bed so this is a sofa right now but you can easily turn this into a bed by just adjusting this side the size of this room is six tatami room six tatami <laughs> tatami floors i lost my original footage my original video of the washroom so here i am again filming but that's all right so the washroom just like most public toilets in japan there's a color indicator if it's available or if it's occupied outside of the toilet we also have the light switch and the exhaust fan inside so let's go in Ta -da. <laughs> are you disappointed it's very simple um there's not a lot going on in our washroom we have a calendar here that we got from a cake store in our city and then right over here we have uh, the tissue, the toilet paper holder, and also this. I got this for 300 yen only, or you can put extra one and the, what you call that, the air freshener as well. Right over here, we have a small trash can, and just like what we have in our bedroom in, and in our kitchen, we have the air freshener, an air freshener as well here. This one was not originally on the, the apartment design, obviously, but my boyfriend set it up for me because I am not tall enough to reach high places in this house, as I mentioned in the part one of the video. So this makes it easier for me to grab toilet paper replacements. And behold, a Japanese toilet. Although it's probably not what you imagine, like something that would automatically open when you enter the door, Unfortunately, it's not like that, but you know, it's still amazing. I think one of the best things about Japanese toilets is this one, the faucet right over here. So after flushing the toilet, clean water will run through here and then you can use it to wash your hand. And the water that you use to wash your hand can be used for flushing next time you use the toilet, which I think is great. You know, it's environmental friendly i'm not sure but yeah it is great and then right over here we have the toilet it's normal but the seat is heated it's warm seat and here right over here is the bidet the very famous the infamous bidet you have several buttons over here it depends on the toilet that you have and also in public places but the one that we have here has the stop button the one that you use if you do one number two and it says bidet and there's an image of a woman over here so you know what it's for there's also an option to move which means the nozzle will move by itself if you press this so you don't need to you know move yourself <laughs> so yes basically for washing for hygiene purposes right over here you can also control the intensity of the water and also the temperature of the seat which is amazing especially in winter so our toilet also has a lock hmm yeah do whatever you will with that information but yeah let's go to our next room but i'm not gonna show a lot of things in this next room because this is actually our masters our main room our bedroom basically so here let's enter before we explore let me show you my boyfriend added this because we noticed that you know again it's very cold it's winter cold air comes through the gap between the door and the floor so even if the heater is turned on it still feels really cold so he added this kind of like pad on the floors to close the gap okay so let's enter let me turn on the light okay so this is our bedroom yes 
okay so let me show you very quickly we have our double bed here we have separate blankets because you know you don't want to tug each other's blanket in the middle of the night we also have some of our stuffed toys over here the light switch is over here and an electric blanket over here to keep our feet warm at night and then right over here i have my moss ball i made it myself and it's growing pretty well it's very cute we have our coin bank over here which is really nice and a teddy bear for my sister also cards from my friends over here we have um divine mercy my Japanese learning books and my notebook. So we wanted to buy Yogi Bow, but Yogi Bows are so big. And even their smallest ones are not very small and, you know, very expensive. So we decided to buy this from Muji instead, it's from Muji Rushi. And then we have here another folding chair and some of our other items over there and a table here this is where we usually eat at night we have a space heater over here which is very nice we have our main tv here our plant over here the xbox over there another one of those automatic fragrance diffuser and some of our other action figures also have the stuffed toys over here and our main window looking outside that's who we are <laughs> i cannot show that when we were living in our old city we used to paint on weekends and i think these were the first ones that we made and then right here i don't know if i can show you We have another big closet, but instead of clothes, we use this to store our boxes. We never throw any of our items boxes because we don't know if we want to sell some of our items in the future. And the value is just higher if you have the original box. So I don't know if it's organized enough to show you, but anyway. Oh, and we have our old mattress over here. So we have, look, the original boxes, even the boxes of our um, action figures, they are all here. So this is our main storage area. So yeah, this is our main bedroom.